Hi there, it's Laura here from Get Organized HQ, and I am bringing you ideas of 23 items you can declutter in 2023. And you're in for an extra special treat because my friend Marissa from A to Zen Life, if you haven't checked out her channel, you definitely wanna do that. She is also giving you 23 things to declutter in 2023. So if you watch both these videos, the link to hers is down below. You will definitely be super inspired to declutter. And I will tell you, there is just no better way to start the year than with decluttering because decluttering is the easiest way to relieve stress and get organized because once you get rid of something, you never have to think about it again. You don't have to maintain it. As you can tell, I love decluttering. That is why we start out every year in our insiders membership with a decluttering challenge and focusing on that. So I hope this will give you some ideas because I know sometimes just like seeing an idea will help you think of items that you can go ahead and declutter. You should definitely declutter your returns. Do not let them sit around. Go ahead, return them to the store, mail them back. This is an embarrassing amount of returns that I actually need to do, but get it done. And if you can't return it, just go ahead and donate it, but don't let them sit around. Next, you should get rid of all of those mismatched socks. I know you think you'll find the mate, but chances are, you will not, and instead you will hold on to them for years before finally discarding them. So just go ahead and declutter those. Now, I do not want you to forget about your digital clutter. So you know all of those duplicate photos you have on your phone, you know, when you snap like 22 shots of your kid blowing out their birthday cake just to make sure that you get the right one. Go ahead and delete some of those. You don't need 20. Continuing with our digital clutter theme, delete those emails that you don't need. You don't need 20,000 emails, or in this case, 66,000. Yes, actual screenshot of my email a couple years ago. If you feel overwhelmed by this, go watch my video on email bankruptcy. I'll be sure to link it below, and you can actually take care of these all in one fell swoop. Here, I give you full permission to declutter your Instant Pot if you're not using it. Now, if you're using it, great, keep it. But I know a lot of you got it because it was all the rage and you maybe haven't used it or you've only used it once. If that's the case and you think you're gonna use it, I want you to plan a meal within the next week where you're using it. If you don't, you need to get rid of it. Don't hold on to the guilt. It's not for everybody. And if it's not for you, just let it go. Next, declutter those small kitchen appliances that you don't need or that you aren't using anymore. Do you have two of something, two air fryers, waffle irons, blenders, slow cookers, anything like that, get rid of those. Next, any kitchen gadgets or items that you have duplicates of, go ahead and get rid of those. Those are easy. For example, I had four ice cream scoops. I don't think I really need that many ice cream scoops. I like ice cream, but not that much. And I had three pizza cutters. So two of them were exactly alike. So I went ahead and got rid of that. So go through your drawers and get rid of those duplicates. Next, go ahead and get rid of any chipped, broken, or mismatched dishes. So in this case, I had one mug that doesn't match. Go ahead and get rid of that. Or if you have any dishes like this that are chipped and broken, go ahead and get rid of those. Declutter any expired food from either your pantry, your refrigerator, or your freezer. If it's out of date, if it's gone bad, go ahead and get rid of it. Now, these are usually easy in the sense that there's no emotional attachment to food items like that, but there is usually a lot more guilt associated with getting rid of food. I know none of us want to waste any food, but the thing is, it's already been done. If it's gone bad and you're not going to eat it, it's not going to do you any good to hang on to it. So just go ahead, look at all those dates and get rid of any items that are out of date. And don't forget about the refrigerator and the freezer. We already talked about food that's literally expired, but what about food that you just won't eat anymore? Maybe you got it to try a new recipe and the recipe wasn't good or for a special way of eating and you're not eating that way anymore. Or in the case of some of these sweeteners, it just wasn't good. So go ahead and get rid of that or give it away. So if you made gingerbread houses or really any kind of edible or disposable decor, 
go ahead and toss those. Don't let them keep sitting around for months before you let them go. Next, be sure and declutter any decor that you don't love. Maybe you once loved it and it's not your style anymore, or you just never really liked it. Go ahead and get away, get rid of it. Don't put away and store things that you don't love. So like this candle holder, it's fine. I think I got it in a decor box with some other stuff. I'm just going to let it go. A huge source of clutter in many homes is kids' artwork and papers. If you're anything like our household, they just have so many. So instead of hanging on to them for a long time and then getting rid of them, go ahead, go through all those papers and get rid of anything that you don't need or love anymore. So we talk a lot about decluttering clothes that don't fit, and you should totally do that. But don't forget about those clothes that aren't comfy. Life is just too short to wear scratchy, itchy clothes that aren't comfy. Same for your kids. Just toss those in the decluttering bin. If you're anything like most of us, you hang on to some of those old athletic shoes for those just-in-case moments, like if you need to go out in the mud or do some painting or something like that. But I only want you to save one pair of those. So get rid of all the rest of your just-in-case shoes. Don't forget about the jewelry that you no longer love. I think that's often overlooked and with styles changing and our own style often evolving, we end up with a lot of jewelry that maybe we just don't love or wear anymore. So go ahead and pass that along. Okay, let's face it. We all have those mystery cords. We have no idea what they're for, what they go to. Go ahead. I give you full permission to get rid of those and not hang out onto them. And if you want more on how to deal with cord clutter, I have an entire video. I will link it below. Get rid of any old VHS tapes or CDs or DVDs. If you don't have a way to play it, you certainly don't need to hang on to it. Also, when it comes to things like VHS tapes or even cassette tapes, they aren't meant to last forever. They'll actually go bad. So any that you need, you want to make sure that you are getting those into some kind of digital format that you can actually save if they're really important to you, like home videos. Go ahead and get rid of any old rags or scrub brushes or sponges, anything that's just dirty and dingy and frayed and start with a fresh slate. Get rid of any old planners or journals or notebooks that you don't need anymore. I know that these can be meaningful and sentimental, but there's no reason for them to sit around collecting dust. Now, go ahead and take a look at all of your craft and hobby stuff. And if you don't use it anymore, if you're not into that hobby anymore, or maybe you've never used it, you thought you'd be into it, but you really weren't, go ahead and get rid of it. Now, this can be a really tricky area. And the rule of thumb I like to use is if I see it and it causes me guilt instead of like, joy and being excited, then I want to go ahead and get rid of it no matter why I got it or how much it cost. Get rid of any dried out or used up craft supplies, any consumables. There's just not enough left to mess with. A lot of times these glue sticks can get dried out and there's no need to hang on to those. You want to be able to grab one and know that it is good to go. Uh, things like glitter in like the silver one, there's only a few specks of glitter left. So there's really no sense in hanging on to that. I don't think you need to hang on to the last little bit of stuff to use it all up. It just creates stress and you end up with a whole bunch of extra stuff. If you don't like it, if it spills everywhere, go ahead and get rid of it. You can declutter any toys or games that are either missing pieces, incomplete, or are broken. I hope that gave you some great ideas. Of course, leave comments down below of some items that you've thought of to declutter. Do not forget to check out Marissa's video on more ideas for things that you can declutter. And if you're interested, go ahead and click that link down below and find out all about the insiders. If you're interested in more community and more help as you go on your journey to get organized and create a home of less stress and more peace.